Hello friends, this is Brother Carlos and welcome to another edition of our daily videos that we record. Amen. Hallelujah here. I am in Fresno. What a beautiful morning. It's getting ready to rain here pretty soon. Amen. What a blessing to be in the presence of God each day. Praise God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Okay. I have a question for you. Do you feel like you are under witchcraft? Do you feel like you are under curses or voodoo or hexes or vexes or any of that kind of stuff? If you say yes, then you owe it to yourself to listen to this video, okay? It's just a short video, and at the end, we're going to pray. But let me go ahead and pray for protection first. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Father, I ask right now, according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that uh, we ask that you protect us and keep your angels around us to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, let me just uh, 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 comment on something. If you feel like you are under witchcraft and you consider yourself a Christian, okay, and you feel like you have come under witchcraft, then let me say something to you. Then something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with your belief system. Something is wrong with your faith, okay? The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 26, verse 2, that a curse without a cause shall not come to pass. So in other words, if you are a born-again believer, if you walk with Jesus Christ, if you please God on a daily basis, and you avoid all the things that the devil is bringing your way, then I'm here to tell you right now that witchcraft should not land at you. None of them. If people place witchcraft on you, that witchcraft will return to them without you having to raise a finger for it. Amen. And that's the way it is. It has to do with our belief system. Who do you believe? Do you believe in God or you believe in, in luck, good luck, bad luck? What, what is that that you believe? Have you been saved? Are you? Do you consider yourself a born-again believer? Amen. Well, Jesus Christ came to save us to set us free. And he's inviting us all to become born again believers. Amen. And let me, and let me say something to you. Let me ask another question. Do you think that if Jesus Christ were here today physically in a human body, like he was 2000 years ago, do you think that witchcraft would have, witchcraft that people thrown at him would land at him? Do you believe that? Yes or no? The answer is no, right? So what's the difference? Well, the difference is if Jesus Christ were here today, like he was 2,000 years ago, he was God in flesh, in the flesh, right? Dwelling in a human body, right? So, and, and, and the same is with us today. If we believe in Jesus, Jesus is living on the inside of us. If we believe in Jesus and he is inside of us, do you think that witchcraft will land at us when people throw witchcraft at us? Of, of course not, and the answer is no. What is that that will open doors for, you know, witchcraft to come and land at us? Well, there are many things that even if a born-again believer does, you know, uh, 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 that can cause, you know, uh, uh, curses to come, witchcraft to come, evil spirits to come. And if we being born again and we walk in the flesh or get angry at other people and, and hold unforgiveness and, and grudge against people and we hold unforgiveness and resentment and bitterness, even if you are a born again believer, then yes, if you have those feelings towards other people, then you, you are opening doors for evil spirits to come in and also for witchcraft to land at you. Amen. I'm not questioning your faith. Well, you know whether you are a born-again believer or not. But if you are a born-again believer, walking with Christ, doing everything you can to please Him, walking in forgiveness, walking in love, walking in compassion, you know, looking at the altar of our faith, your faith, which is Jesus Christ, amen, then 
Witchcraft is not going to land at you, friends. It will not. It will fall flat to the ground anytime somebody throws a witchcraft at you. Amen? But if you believe you are under witchcraft right now, so let me just go ahead and pray with you for the breaking of this witchcraft. Amen? Because it's not right that a child of God be under witchcraft, voodoo, hexes, vexes, whatever. Amen? Black magic. It, 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 it simply it does not make sense. Amen? If you walk with Christ, then you walk with Christ. You are building spiritual muscles. Amen? Let's pray right now. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I now exercise authority over every curse, witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy. Fall flat to the ground now on behalf of this viewer. Right now, fall flat to the ground in the name of Jesus Christ. And all of you evil spirits, leave now in Jesus' mighty name. That's it. Take a deep breath right now three times. <sighs> Repent and confess your sins to Jesus Christ and ask him to forgive you and you forgive others who have trespassed against you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And I'll tell you right now, no witchcraft is upon you right, right at this moment. Okay? It's not. It fell flat to the ground. Amen. Walking now in, in forgiveness. Walk, walk in holiness, in righteousness. Please your Father in heaven, and you're going to live a safe life every day of your life for whenever you, you, know, you are on the face of this planet. Amen? That's the way it is, friends. Okay? Hallelujah. Let's just believe God. Let's just give our hearts to Jesus and, and just confess his lordship over our lives. Let's do it. We can do it daily. You can renew, you know, your commitment to God, you know, uh, 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 as being your Lord and Savior. You can renew it that daily. It doesn't hurt to say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Just say that every day. Amen. Hallelujah. And also remember, this is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Say amen. Father, I ask right now that you... Bless my brother and sister right now, Father. I ask right now that you bless them in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day and uh, enjoy the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, friends, I'm going to ask you for a favor. If you are here right now and you are not a subscriber to this channel, please, I'm going to ask you to subscribe right now. And also click the bell to activate your subscription so you can receive notification whenever we go live or upload a video. Amen? Also, I'm going to ask you to like this video. If you like this message, then like the video. Leave a comment saying, Amen, praise the Lord. Brother, I believe what you're saying. You know, whatever you want to say. If you don't like the message, you can also say the same thing. You say, you know, I don't like this message. I don't feel like it's coming from God. Whatever it is, leave a comment there, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe, friends. Help us out, okay? I have plenty of videos already that I have recorded on a daily basis, wearing sunglasses. You recognize them on my channels, okay? Watch them. There's a message there for you. In every single video you listen to, there's a message there for you. Amen. God bless you now, and have a good day. Bye now.